everybody, welcome back to another Mole Man episode. Uh, it's a special video. I got Zach. He is originally from Florida. Originally born in Florida, yeah. Born in Florida. He's been around everywhere, but he's down back in Texas. And he is one of the guys that bought a hunt from us. So if you remember a few months ago, uh, me and my dad decided we were going to sell a few hunts out here at the ranch. And uh, he's he was one of the first ones that emailed me. Yeah, I, I saw the video. I was like, it's not too far from where I live. I only live a couple hours yep. away from Waco, and I was like, let's do this. It'd be, Heck yeah. a, it'd be a great experience. And He's out here now. Yeah. So uh, we actually just got done cleaning an animal. So y'all enjoy this video, uh, and you made, a, you made a shot. I won't give away the whole video, but uh, it's an epic hunt, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get into the hunt, and then uh, we'll see you back here. I just found a set. It is uh, 6 a.m. and got a good cup of joe. I'm about to go sit in the stand. Hopefully something happens today. Super, super cold outside, so we'll see if they're moving. I 
I'm hoping she piled up over there. We replayed the footage though, and the shot was a little bit back. So we're gonna give her some time, but um, the good news is we didn't see her come out with all of the other Oryx, so uh, I mean, that's a tough shot. He was leaning back, 55 yard shot. So, we're gonna give her time and uh, see if we can't drag her down and hopefully she's down. I think she's dead, but uh, may have to put another one in her. We don't know. So, awesome hunt though. The way this all worked out was insane. We, we're spot and stalk hunting and one second. <coughs> shot in but we stalked in and she wasn't going anywhere and he put one right in her heart so perfect shot she's down we got her done got it done Good job dude thanks brother now it's uh now the work begins so we're gonna get some pictures and go check her out and uh you do a shoulder mount yeah i want to do a shoulder mount sweet shoulder mount so we're gonna cape her out and uh get a ton of meat off of this girl this is where she came in and got behind these trees and we couldn't see where she was. Got out and located her. She uh, expired in her bed. First orcs ever, huh? First time, man. Heck yeah. Biggest animal I've ever killed. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Oh. oh thank you so much. The last, uh, the second arrow did the trick. What? The second arrow did the trick. Yeah. It's got awesome. it done. All right, guys. Well, we got her done. Got some pics. I'm gonna load her up. And uh, if y'all wanna see anything that happens after this, go subscribe to Moltman Uncut. It'll be linked in the description. All the skinning, cleaning, gutting, caping, all that stuff will be over there. So y'all go check that out. Um, we're gonna go get her gut gutted and hung. And then I think we're gonna go back out and uh, do a little more hunting, so stay tuned. All right, time to uh, do the real business. Get that meat out of here. So, guys, like I said, uh, if you wanna see the process on it, on all of this, go to Moltman Uncut. The link will be in the description, but uh, if you don't go over there, I'll catch you back here when we get done. And uh, we'll eat some back shop tonight. For dinner. Oh yeah, so, definitely. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Sweet. Try sweet. out some backstrap on old Oryx, and uh, we'll be eating good. All right, guys. So we got the Oryx all quartered up and clean. Look how beautiful that meat is. That is perfect. Uh, I need a bag. We cut off a piece of back strap. I'm gonna get locked in this cooler. I take a Ziploc bag and. Uh, Grab this hunk of back strap. So, grab the hunk of back strap, and we are headed to the house. We're gonna cook burgers and back strap for dinner. So, we'll see you guys at the casa. I just cleaned this hunk of back strap off up, and uh, as you know, right from the kill, meat is normally pretty tough. So, this is just a little meat tenderizer. You can get a big one too, it's like a square. But you can get these on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. I think my dad got this one at just a local feed store. But uh, sit here and tenderize this bad boy. And uh, we're just gonna skillet, skillet fry it. My favorite way, a little oil, a little butter, and just fast, cook it real fast, get a nice bark on it. And then you just let it rest for about 15 minutes and that finishes, 
the cooking part of it. But we're also doing some elk burgers. So I think this is Zach's first time trying Oryx meat. Those Oryx steaks that I cooked for Angel the other night were about the closest thing that you can get to a beef ribeye. So I'm hoping this turns out about the same. So got it tendered up, tenderized up pretty good. I'm gonna rub it down with a little oil, season it up, and uh, get to cooking. Well, sorry I'm eating cheese. We are going to, whoo, habanero cheese. We are going to uh, slap some burgers on real quick. The grill is hot. We got some nice juicy elk burgers. Fatties. Slap those on there. Let those cook up. Got a campfire going. Now we're going to cook up this back strap. All right guys, so for the back strap, we're gonna use cast iron and you wanna get it heated up. You wanna preheat it um, well before you're, you put your meat in. So you want that pretty hot. You want it to brown your meat really quick. So we're gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna rub this puppy down with some olive oil so just get your hand in there rub it on the wood get it all in there just like that now we are going to just season this guy up with some garlic salt and some critter glitter red um, if you're new to the channel this is one of my seasonings you can get it at moleman.net it'll be linked in the description and we are getting very close to releasing our new spices as well. So y'all stay tuned for those. So we're gonna put a good little coating. This is a thick piece of meat, so don't be scared to put some seasoning on there. Good thick coating of garlic salt and a nice little coat of Critter Glitter Red. Take it and flip it. Same thing. I'm also gonna give it a nice little coat of fresh ground black pepper. Black pepper. Put that on both sides. And then uh, you just wanna let this thing sit here while your pan heats up. Let it soak in some of that seasoning. And we're gonna do hot and fast. So two to three minutes on each side. I also get the corners. Uh, you wanna get it all cooked up and then we'll let it rest for about 15 minutes while those burgers cook. So yeah, I just put a little bit of olive oil in there. Let that olive oil heat up. I'm gonna throw our steak in and then we're gonna throw a little butter on top of our steak and let that help cook it. So you wanna hear that whenever it gets in there. You wanna cook it hot and fast. Yeah, like that. Do one more on the other side. And let that roll around in there with that steak. Alright guys, time to flip. You want it to look just like that. Get the same consistency on the other side and then we'll do the corners. And then we will let it rest. Looking pretty. Time to rest. 15 minutes on the clock. Let her rest right there in her bed. Alrighty guys, health burgers are done. And so is this. Piece of meat. So I'm gonna cut into this, see how well we did. Could be a little rare, could be a little overdone, you never know. I don't use a meat thermometer. Looks perfect. That's perfect for you. You like That's your, a little overdone, yeah. You like your meat medium, uh, Medium, right? Yeah, it's medium. Uh, that looks perfect for me. All right, let's. Uh, I would like mine a little more rare, oh. but uh, take that. I'll take this. One out of ten. Good job. Hmm. 
a little tough because of how fresh it is. Flavor's perfect though. Feels like a meat in the New York strip or something like that. It's insane. A little tough. If we would age this for, I don't know, five, six days in the walk-in cooler, that would melt in your mouth, but that's delicious. But you still got two full back straps to uh, age. So I'll give it like a, I'll give it like a seven, eight for Oryx back strap. I'll call it like a seven, eight. Seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. It. I was going to say right. seven was what I was thinking. Hey. I think I'd give it a 10 if we could age it for about six, seven days. But we had an awesome time. We still got the morning hunt. We were going after Black Buck. So uh, y'all stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully we get that done. We're going to have us a nice meal and go to sleep. Elk burgers, Oryx backstrap. We got some beans and uh, some other sides. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.